co-founder of The Savvy Heart, and today I want to share with you how to make this really modern and minimal floating acrylic frame. Now I love this project for multiple reasons. It's simple, you really don't need that many materials, it's inexpensive, and best of all, you can customize it to almost any piece of artwork you're looking to hang. I also love projects that have multiple uses, so make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video so I can show you what else to do with it and also where to get your hands on our free printable abstract art that we're going to be using. Ready? Let's dive in. Okay, so you're going to need some screws, a drill, a pencil, a ruler and a level, two drill bits, and you're just going to want to make sure the larger drill bit is big enough to accommodate whatever size standoff you choose. A screwdriver or screwdriver bit, some drywall anchors, standoffs, some tape, two pieces of acrylic, preferably about one to two inches larger than your piece of art, and of course, your artwork. If you have any questions about where to find any of these items, I've linked everything in the description box below. There's also a link to get your hands on our free printable abstract art. Okay, so we're just going to start by placing both of our pieces of acrylic on top of one another. And next we're going to tape all the sides together with a little bit of masking tape. And this is just to ensure the holes in our acrylic are in the exact same spots on both pieces. Okay, now we need to figure out where we want our standoffs to be located. I'm going to place my standoffs at about an inch in. So I'm going to go ahead and measure an inch in from all the corners. And this is going to give me a crosshair so I know exactly where to drill. Once we have all of our marks, we can start drilling, but I'm just going to protect my tabletop with a piece of scrap wood. I'm going to start with the smaller of the two drill bits, line it up to my mark, and start drilling. If you've never drilled through acrylic before, don't be intimidated, it's super easy. Once I've drilled all four holes, I'm going to swap out my drill bit for the larger one and repeat. At this point, the holes should be big enough for our standoffs to fit through easily. Okay, now I'm going to take my frame, put it up to the wall, make sure that it's level, and then use my pencil to mark the center of each hole. And these marks are going to be where the back of the standoffs are screwed in at. And then once I have my marks, I'm going to place a screw through the back of the standoff, line it up to the hole, and screw them in. I'm not going to be using drywall anchors for this, just because it's temporary and the piece that I'm hanging isn't very large. But if you're hanging something big or it's more permanent, I would suggest using drywall anchors. And then repeat until all four are screwed in. Next, I'm going to take my acrylic pieces apart and I'm going to take off the protective coating that was in the inside of where they were sandwiched together at. And then I'm going to place my artwork in. You can kind of eyeball it or measure it if you're a little OCD like I am. And then secure your art with a couple of glue dots. And then I'm going to sandwich my artwork back together in between the two pieces of acrylic. And next, I'm just going to take the protective coating off of all the corners, just enough to fit my standoff through. I find this helps just to keep fingerprints off of it while we're hanging. And then go ahead and screw your standoffs into the backs and take the rest of the protective coating off. And that's it, you're finished. Okay, now let's move on and let me show you what else you can do with the acrylic and standoffs. The frame looks great with pressed botanicals and leaves. Acrylic also works great as a dry erase board. Here I've just sandwiched a calendar in between the acrylic and now I can highlight important dates. 
And instead of hanging it on the wall, I've taken two standoffs and one piece of acrylic so it has a slight lean. Now it's perfect for a tabletop. I love this in the office so I can jot down quick notes. Okay, you guys, that concludes today's DIY project. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you like this project and like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. If you have questions about today's project, please ask in the comment section below. And like I mentioned, everything that you're going to need to make this project on your own is linked in the description box. There's also a link on where to get your hands on our free printable abstract art. So make sure you check that out before you leave. And if you make this project, we would love to see your photos. Please share them with us on social media using the hashtag the savvy heart. Okay, you guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye. My name is Tara. I'm here. La. Hey guys. Hello. Okay, you guys. Hey guys. My name is Tara. I'm a. Yeah. Oh, word.